guys up guys it's your boy CJ here back in another video I hope you guys are doing well I'm doing well myself anyway so today's video is a bit of a it's it's gonna be a talking head video I already had this set build up and I just did another video previously for my assignment so I thought you know what I'm just gonna explain this to you guys this I this has been in my chest for quite a while I thought you know I want to share with you guys and it's about taking care of your equipment uh, you can already see it from the title but I'm not saying taking care in a sense that you have to clean it every time or not keep it dirty. Those are basic knowledge and you probably watch a thousand videos about those things. I'm talking today a bit something a little bit different. Likewise, it's about um, batteries, basically. Um, not your ordinary like your DSR batteries or your NPF batteries. Th those things are uh, those things are very common knowledge right now. I'm talking about rechar rechargeable batteries. I've seen a thousand times uh, a lot of people, especially new photographers, they use like cheap batteries they buy from 7-Eleven. I'm not gonna mention their name because they don't gonna get me into trouble. But basically, is that you do not want to use re um, non-rechargeable batteries for a long period of time and that for a fact has a lot of problems and before I get into more details you might be wondering what actually uses because you know photography is something that's it was kind of advanced you, you know they use batteries but most of the time you see them using block batteries you don't know what uses them in this case what uses it actually I already if I have it right here that's you want these these are the flashes flashes use a lot of batteries and most of the time they take four double a batteries just for it another example is actually the uh, zoom which is i have it running right now the these are basically your voice recorders they are bigger ones but however i have here is the zoom uh h1n they use two double a batteries so as you can see uh, in total if you have a couple of these on set you're going to be using a couple dozen at one time and that is one of some there's there's a lot of facts going into that and there's a lot of factors and up till a couple years ago when i actually joined in a professional photography team and videographer uh, basically a production house for example which is my what i'm working at right now so we they use this when i first entered i didn't really have much knowledge about rechargeable batteries i always think that you know what, i'm just gonna go to 7-eleven buy some you know double a batteries cheap ones that i'm gonna just chuck it in i'm gonna use it and it works it doesn't mean I don't I'm not saying it doesn't work it works but then again uh, I learned that over time this will damage your uh, equipment now please do take this in mind that this case doesn't may not apply to you I this is personal uh, personal experience I've met I experienced several cases whereby people uses cheap AA batteries uh, those non rechargeable types and over time their equipment degrade if you will they, they, they don't break instantly they, they more like degrade and there's a lot of factors going into this um, to keep in mind I'm not a physicist I'm not a engineer I don't quite understand about how voltage works and stuff like that I, I really don't really know but to my understanding is that the voltage within more non rechargeable rechargeable batteries the AA batteries they have different kind of output in comparison to um, rechargeable ones because uh, the one in my hand right now at uh, the analog pro by Panasonic I'm not sure if you can see that hang on uh, yeah anyway I'm not sure if you can see that but yeah this is the analog pro but by the way analog does not send me this I review this based on all my own basis about this with my own money actually I got this a couple of days ago and I've been using it since my road uh, my, not my road my zoom is using two of it right now currently but yeah i'm gonna put this down now anyway so what is the reason why i say that you should use rechargeable batteries one of the main reason is terms of cost now if you only have one flash or one recorder that's six batteries at a time it may not use for long term it will not affect your cost long term wise because you're gonna be not gonna be using it that much if so but if you're gonna be using it daily and you're using a lot the money piles up like for example the analog pro which is i got here for uh it's actually four sets of batteries and with the charger uh not four sets four double a batteries one set with the charger is 135 ringgit malaysia uh i believe you can get the only the batteries four batteries for i think 93 ringgit somewhere there that's the price but yes, to you it makes sense. Yeah, that, that's my first reaction when I first found out about AA batteries, how much it costs. But hear me out. Think about it this way. You buy these batteries, 135 ringgit with the charger at one time. 
you can use this for maybe two years. Uh, I have, uh, my company has been using the same set for about two, three years. That only we change one new set because, you know, batteries degrade, we need to change, but two years. So, and we use it constantly, almost every week, and we charge it, you know, a lot. So, we buy 135 ringgit, it lasts for two years. That means to about six, 700 days. Six, 700 days, and maybe if you divide it every weekend, that's already a couple dozen times, and that's a lot of usage. You have to understand, batteries do will last you, but they will run out of batteries, and they will run out of electricity. So, if you factor in the cost of only 135 ringgit, and you actually put it within two years perspective, using every weekend, and if you think about using AA batteries, cheap ones, I say cheap one costs about, I'm not quite sure, the last time I bought it was about 13 or 15 ringgit like that, it, it was, I think it came about six pack, it's a six pack one, but, if you actually think about it long term wise, 20 ringgit, one day. One day, you will definitely use, finish that battery for one day. I, I guarantee you because that's what we happen. I usually use about uh, eight batteries for one wedding, which is more morning to night. Eight batteries for one flash and we have two flash. So we have eight, bat uh, about 16, 16 batteries, four sets. So if you take that in mind as the cost, over time it's gonna pile up. It may look big at the beginning when you buy these uh, rechargeable ones, but if you think about it in long-term cost and you use cheap batteries, not only it destroys your camera, it also makes your cost a lot. And you know, if you want to turn this into business, you want to keep the cost a little minimum. So I highly recommend getting one of these just because one of the biggest factor is cost. You don't want your cost to be piling up. And if you keep calculate that, you're probably spending about, I don't know, five, six times of how much you spend on this alone. So that's number one. Number two is in terms of damage. I personally have a friend who has, who constantly uses, you know, cheap uh, AA batteries they buy from my key, uh, from some place. I'm not gonna name them. I almost did, but they named them. Uh, they they use this some place, and it turned out to be um, a bit of a nightmare. At first, they had no problem. They use it maybe over the span of a year or two years. Now you have to understand that. First thing first, before you I continue, flash is not cheap. And this is actually the lower grade. I don't use this anymore. Uh, I use the 630 ones. 630 EX Canon is 2,000 ringgit per unit. 2,000 ringgit per unit. And you're using a 10 ringgit battery. Now, I'm not saying being uh, you're being cheap or whatsoever. I'm just saying that if you damage one of these flash and it costs to repair it, and because of the cost and because you're, you're bearing the cost because you're going cheap on your battery. That's what I'm trying to say. You go on cheap on the battery because you want to save that little bit of cost by the end, it's just going to cost you more to repair one of these. And one of my friend actually has his 630X. Well, it went kaput. It went kaput and he has to send back to Canon. Canon charge, I'm not quite sure how much he charged, so I'm not going to give you a value for it, but it turned, it certainly cost a lot more than one of these. So after that incident, they, he instantly get himself a, a pair, uh, not a pair, a set of these with a charger. He's been using it ever since. He's been using it for two years. I think he's switching soon, but I'm not quite sure when. But anyway, this is one of the scenarios that I've been given, I personally experienced. It may not have happened for you yet, and I pray that it does not happen to you because I don't want anyone to have their equipment spoiled. I don't like my equipment spoiled either. So. That's fact number two. Your equipment may be this may be damaged, or for a fact, it will be damaged because of the damage of voltage output of cheap batteries. It's not as consistent as these. These are constant. These are designed to be constant of output voltage. That's number two. So up to number three. Cases number three is actually for environmental reasons. Now, I'm not saying I'm an environmentalist, but I care about the environment because you know we're living on Earth. We want to have. Uh, a safe sorry I was checking my zoom anyway, so uh, I wanted to live in a comfortable com uh, comfortable environment one of it is being the earth itself the earth is beautiful and batteries is one of big big problems is that a lot of people dump batteries and batteries can't be disposed naturally they take time to degrade before they can actually you know uh, being turned to something else I'm not sure the process so I'm not gonna even get into that but Think of it this way, you buy four batteries, two years. In two years, you dump four batteries. If you buy cheap AA batteries and you can't recharge them, you'll be throwing them out every time you use them. So I used four batteries in two years. You may be using two, 400 batteries in two years. You have to get that in perspective because 
if you are a constant a pro photographer or a wedding photographer or whatever you are and you use a lot of AA batteries and you use non-rechargeable ones you're gonna be damaging the environment big way brother and you don't want that i don't want that in, in particular i don't like that idea at all so that's why i always tell people look if you got the money and you want to do this seriously you gotta think long term. Uh, photography is a long term game. It's not a short term game. You don't get good in photography or videography within uh, a day or two unless you're super talented, which I've seen people who get good, but they don't get good within one or two days. So definitely invest in one of these. These are, I repeat, these are um, personally, I'm using the Antelope Pro. I went a little bit heavier. You can go for the Antelope, the normal ones. They work just as fine. I've just gone for Antelope Pro because of, uh, I just, you know, I, I want to make sure it doesn't. It lasts me a little bit longer. I find that pro things, things that label pro, they they, they give it a little bit longer um, durability. And I have particular, and if I have the ability to manage, to afford it, it's not too big of a difference. I will go for it just because I want. I don't want to uh, headache myself with it. Right. One more thing. The fifth one is the versatility. Um, I'm not sure how many times you experienced it, but personally, I've experienced hundreds of times where I was shooting halfway and crap, I have no battery. And uh, this was the time where I was still using um, non-rechargeables and crap, it's I ran out of batteries. I can't buy it anywhere. Like, I, that was sort of the time where I really, really, really wish I had one of these because these you can just chuck it in the wall, you can charge it. Maybe in the next couple of hours, you can use it again. But there are a lot of cases where back then I don't have one of these and just like crap where the heck am i gonna get battery and i can't get it most of the time those times i got lucky i can get some batteries but imagine if you're at super wedding you're at a pivot point and the bride's about to kiss the, uh, the groom and you don't have batteries and you don't have spares that was other time you gotta say ah! so yeah it's one this well, these are one of the little things um in a lot in about our line of work and it's, it's something i want to share with you guys because not a lot of people understand this little things and believe it or not, although this may sound costly, 135 ringgit uh, for batteries, especially only four batteries, it may sound big, but because it's rechargeable, it will last you for a long time. Over time, it will last you. And definitely it will help save the environment, save your equipment, save your wallets. So yeah, uh, the moral of my video is basically just to tell you that if you can afford it and you have the chance to do it, please get yourself one of these. Uh, it's not that, Expensive if you compare to the rest of the, our uh, photography videography equipments uh, cameras that would cost like 10 times of these but so If you can get one of these it will last you and you can also use it for other applicate other uh, Equipments uh, stuff your house remote for example They'll definitely last you a lot longer than you wish and especially if you, you chew through these things If you chew through like I do I chew through it one day I can chew through Easily six sets of batteries if I want to. If, if I'm really going at it, I chew through six sets of battery, which is uh, 24, 24 AA batteries, which is a lot and stupid. Don't do that. You try to save as much as you can because, yeah, electric bills and stuff. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, can afford it. Get one of these. It's not that expensive. I'm linking Lazada down there because I figure not everyone in Malaysia can get Amazon and know this a lot of my uh, viewers are from Malaysia. So I'm gonna link Lazada down there. So please go check it out and uh, it's your boy CJ, like this video, please turn on the notification button down there, the, the, the little bell down there, please turn it on and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? It's your boy CJ, out.